Hello everyone, this is Meads and today I'll be sharing you my collection of stick fuzz. Well, one of them. This is before I got into SD Gundam. So here's the box and as you can see, their slogan geared for a new way to play. It's quite plain, just black and white. Only thing that strikes you is this yellow font for stick fuzz. This is the stick fuzz alpha male military kit. Comes in a trapezoidal box in the back. You can see um, cool poses. The runner, the website, it's still there. You can check out the other products, but they haven't updated since 2008. This is uh, made in Singapore, but they also came in America and they got affiliated with Hasbro in 2002. I think the company, the stick was debut in 2001. So there's also cool poses that you can do with a figure. It's quite possible, especially this one. Look at that. It is hard to do, but it is doable. It's just a matter of balancing. Okay, let's open the kit. Oh, as you can see, this age is 8 and up, but I uh, probably would recommend for teenage, young teenagers like around 13 because extended play of this thing doesn't work out so well. Might only last for a week. And anyway, so inside, you have a Ziploc, all the kits, and all well, first thing you'll notice the postcard. Let's get that. Here we go. So you can see the slogan there. It's pretty much what you can see in the back or in the box. I guess they have this, so you can a uh, good way to promote stick fuss. Yeah, put a snap there. Write something to your friends. And there's instruction how to assemble the male figure. Quite simple. And it also comes with this. It's a CG rendering of the figure. Quite nice. I think most kits have uh, like a different, I mean, corresponding CG. And I guess uh, quite a collectible if you look at it that way. And going back to the box, uh, I'll probably go with the stickers first. It's quite a lot, like, as you can see. Box of military, Mr. Benny J, the creator. Belts, skulls, there's actually a bone there. I don't know if you can see that. Their facial expression, things you can put on the torso, band aids. Hmm, it's quite a lot for a sticker sheet. And you have the runners. So this is uh, the male figure. So you can see there's two pairs of legs. Only pegos, one does it. Also have four torso. They just it's just pretty much two pairs with different slight different mold. And there's the hands. The waistline and the head. For the waistline, in later kits, they actually come with a cool idea of separating the middle. So, there's one example. Again, this is one of the first ones, which so is black. Later on, they really in different colors. Yeah, you can have like a, you can simulate like a pants if you can separate them from that right there. Okay, moving on. This is one of the accessory spruce. Shield, helmet, bon it's some kind of hat, like a bonnet or something. Shield handle, backpack, pockets, leather, and a crowbar or some kind of hoe. Or yeah. And for the guns, there's quite a lot. You got a shotgun, submachine guns, rifles, the one with a scope, I like this one the best. It's also pistols and a revolver. Nice. You have a lot of guns for this kit. So pretty much I already assembled one of them. Here we go. And pretty much you can put any facial expression you want. I actually um, super glued some of the connectors in the back so I can hold a gun from another kit. Yeah, these guys are quite possible. Cool thing about this kit is you can pretty much do a lot of stuff. One, I think some people, if you go on YouTube and you see like stuff animation made out of them, and as well as you know customization, like what I do, and also there's photo ops. You know, pretty much you can like do funny things out with them, comics. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Well, that's that. I'm um, gonna show you also um, 
other figs they come up with. So this is an orange one. And here's a gray one. Also comes with blue, red, green, yellow, and all different colors. Also I'm gonna show you my other um, alpha militaries like this one. Same kit. But this comes with a bazooka. This is from another military kit. And also made a sniper. Well, there's no sniper rifle. I actually made it myself it's from a popsicle stick, flashlight from another kit, and a copper stir or straw, and a wood of a tape. I like customizing stuff, random things. <laughs> there we go. And also, I found another cool way with this is um, you can actually use the weapons for your SD kits. Let me show you that. And here's my Blaze Zaku Phantom. As you can see, he's holding one of the pistols. There you go. It's quite nice. Interchangeable parts. I like that. Okay, anyway, go by uh, getting back to the kit. So, I probably won't go to the articulation because as you can see, it's quite articulated. You can do whatever you want with them. And pretty much what I like about this is the simplistic look. You can pretty much, you know, think of any figure you want and create it with this, you know, by customizing them. Uh, here's one example, like this guy. I just made this guy and it looks nice okay um let's see i was gonna talk about this oh price this i got the kit is about uh ten dollars and you can get i don't know if they still have it i don't know if you can still find them on your you know your local stores but you can still get them ebay it's still out there yeah and I guess that's pretty much it and hope to do some more reviews and I'll see you guys later.